interested in the brand new summer 2022 Shantakai collection. It is a cute little collection. Stay tuned as we try on some of the newness. So here it is, the three pieces of the 2022 Shantakai Summer Collection, entitled the Sunbeam Collection, and it features this beautiful limited edition packaging, Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade in the shade Ray, 4.5 grams, 0.16 ounces, and retails for 82 US. Each one of these limited edition pieces features original artwork, so each one of these little abstract um, is like a little miniature painting, I guess. Each one is supposedly different, and it is a gel powder formulation. Let's see if we can open this up. And here's what the shade looks like. Again, a gel powder formulation. It is inspired by the sun, the sunbeam collection, um, featuring an easy sun-kissed look um, for that natural low sunny summer style that is Ray beautiful and here are the two lip tint hydrating balms featuring two shades sunflower and marigold I believe yes sunflower and marigold and this features rose extract um, that's supposed to be the hydrating main ingredient and it's supposed to be you know that effortless to put on smooth to apply easy gliding uh, with a little bit of a sheer hydrating color for that easy summer look a no makeup makeup type of look the shade on the right is marigold and that is described as a dusty rose and on the left is sunflower, and that is described as a soft mauve. These retail for 35 US. A small collection, but a very, very beautiful collection. Thanks, kittens, for joining me for the try and portion of this video. My hair is a little bit crazy. Um, so, pretty cute collection from Shantakai, as we talked about. As far as I know, three pieces. And when I saw the previews, I was thinking, oh, you know, this packaging, it's not our you Shantakai um, that we've seen lately. We've been used to, like, the hummingbird and the beautiful, you know, manta ray and beautiful pearls and sparkly tops and animals uh, but but it actually is a hard plastic um you know at first I was like kind of looks like tower 28s um but no a, a, a hard plastic with kind of a funky design so yeah let's do the try on portion since we've already talked about these uh so we have the sunbeam cheek cheek and eye shade in ray and it does look very similar to a um, hard, harder type of baked gelée. And all I have on right now is I have on Victoria Beckham's primer, priming lotion. I have on Shantakai's Future Skin Foundation in light. And I also have their Future Skin Plus um, corrector, concealer stick and three that's it so i'm just going to start uh with the eye look and one of the wonderful things about summer i think besides having kind of more of a natural color to ourselves um is to be able to take it a little bit you know summer to me has always been a little bit more carefree i grew up um, the daughter of teachers um, i was teaching was my profession uh before i retired and um you know, it's it's this free time. It was this time to rest, recover, to relax and chill a little bit with family and my kids. So um, that's kind of how I like to treat summer also. Um, I like to take it down a notch 
with the makeup. Um, simpler looks, a lot of bronzy, less foundation. I always like blush and, um, you know, color coming through, but yeah, so this is a lovely shade. I was thinking at first that I probably do have something similar from Shantakai, but when I looked at my eyeshadows, um, you know, the Tiger um, Cheetah one, you know, that's not the same big chalet. Um, the Rhino, the Crane, the Leopard was definitely more golden-like. And, of course, the quads are more uh, powdery and shimmer. So this is definitely a bronzy gold. And I do not have anything like it from Shantikai. I don't know if some of the other animal ones um, might be, but I don't have any of those. So I am liking this color. So I'm just going in to a corner, getting the product on the brush. And it is showing up very nicely. I'm going to try to concentrate some more on the outer edge and in the crease because I really just want to do a one and done look with this. Because summer is supposed to be a little more simplified. You know what I think I am going to do? I think I am going to take the bronzer that I have in Sienna from Shantikai and I'm going to do a little, just a little bit of more depth in the crease. Let's get um, Sony G's Blender Pro and I'm going to go into Sienna. Also baked gelée type. And I'm just going to add a little bit more depth on the transition. What am I going to do for a little bit of contour? You know what? I think I'm going to just use that same. Yeah, I'm just doing just a little bit of helping out that structure around my nose area. And we're going to try this product out as the highlighter as well. But in the meantime, let us take a little bit of the shade Lively. This is Shantikai's Gel Cream Blush. And this is Lively. It's a beautiful, pop, punchy coral color. Um, there's also Happy, Vibrant, and Ecstatic. I'm just going to use my fingers. And I'm going to apply to the apples and radiate at an angle upwards, draping it a little bit there, adding in a little bit of color before I use that as a highlight. A little bit on the nose, kind of make that false flush going on. Let's see, where is my Shantikai Eye Kajal in Black? And I'm just going to use that in the waterline here. And Shantikai Faux Sil, of course, one of my longtime favorites. So happy with this product. There we go. And nice, easy, summery look. 
So let's take the same Sunbeam Cheek This Time product and I'm going to go in with my Sonia Gemini in the cheek and uh, swirl it around, get the product on and see how this looks on the cheek. We definitely do get some nice highlight with this. Definitely a nice bronzy gold for summer. Bring it up a little bit. Very nice. Let's try a little bit on the nose. And voila, keeping it nice and bronzy. A little bit gold. I would say definitely not overly tin man which I never like nice and subtle adding that color back in I'm gonna take the bronzer again in Sienna and a little Sonia G fan fan pro taking it on there do a little bit of carving. And looking very nice. Very nice. All right, and the two lip shades, which I did swatch, the first one in Marigold, I'm going to try on. And then I will try on the darker one, Sunflower. So the first one is Marigold. Lovely. Oh. You know, Shantakai, I have to think, definitely favorite lip products. So this one does in bullet does look a little bit um, more rosy pink, but on me, it seems to be a little bit more corally pink. Oh, lovely shade, absolutely beautiful. Loving that. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the ones from the other lip um, hydrating balms. I'll have to try these on again besides just swatching them because this does feel a little bit thicker than I thought that is. But definitely, you know, it is a balm. It is a tint. It's not meant to be like their lip cheeks and lip veils again. But nice, nice pigment. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do the other one. but necessary. And let's try on Sunflower. See that one again? Darker. Oh yeah, that's beautiful again. Oh, Shantakai lip products never ever disappoint. Ever. Just a test to their Classic, classy, just beautiful. So here are two of last summer, I believe it's last summer's, um, <laughs> the collection that came along with the manta ray and the whale shark cheek blush and highlighting combo. But here are two shades in beach rose and candula is I believe how you pronounce it. And here, it's supposed to be the same formulation, I do believe. So here we have a comparison, Beach Rose and Candula. And there you see the, um, the sheer light tint on my arm. Very lovely, very creamy, beautiful glide, super hydrating, a beautiful 
a beautiful pop of color in a sheer formula. And just in case you're like me and you kind of forget in between releases the difference between everything in comparison to the lip veils um, and the lip cheeks. So the lip veils and the lip cheeks, the lip veils, um, they feature baobab oil and they are more pigment pigmented, but still that same um, smooth, soft formulation with the hydrating skin enhancing ingredients, but definitely um, a little bit longer lasting and not as sheer. And let's see, this one is, sorry, Lip Veil in Tambodi. And this is the Lip Chic. And the Lip Chics are the ones that feature the hyaluronic acid. And this one was Honeysuckle from the Butterfly Collection. Definitely cr a little bit more creamy, a little bit. And there you can see Tamboni and Honeysuckle and a little bit more creamy, not as sheer, but all of them definitely have some very nice ingredients that are very hydrating and smooth. Lovely, lovely shades. Can't really lose with Shantikai. Thanks again for joining me today on Pippa Jones Beauty as we took a look at the Shantikai Summer 22 collection, a first look. And if you learn something, like something, please help this channel out. Give it a thumbs up. It's the best support that you can give, along with subscribing down below and joining in on the conversation. Are you planning to get this? Have you already ordered it up? Do you like these smaller type of summer releases or seasonal releases where you can maybe pick up everything and not feel so absolutely overwhelmed? Or do you like to have more choices? Sound out down below. I'd like to know. Till next time. Bye.